Good morning, Word Church Good family morning. and friends. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, come let us go into the house of the Lord. Yes. This is a new day and a great opportunity to worship the Lord, to learn more about him, to grow in the direction that he is moving us in. And so let's do that together. Father, we thank you for this thank day, you, God. Lord. We thank you for another moment and an opportunity to come together, God, as your people. Father, we pray even now, God, that by your word and by your spirit, you will cause us to come alive in brand new ways. Teach us how to worship. Teach us how to hear you, that we would be the people that you are calling for. In Jesus' name, cause us to worship God with, re with reckless abandon yes. like we've never done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's worship you all. Hallelujah. 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 How many are glad to be in the house of the Lord today? Yes. How many are glad to see another morning? Hallelujah. Yes, How many know that it wasn't promised? Hallelujah. Yes. Do I have any grateful people in the room this morning? Hallelujah. We came to lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. Come on, he woke you up this morning. Hallelujah. Started you on your way. I'm just waiting for the grateful people to make some noise in here. Yes. Come on and clap those hands. Hallelujah. Yeah. We love him. Come on and clap those hands. Yeah. Oh, yes. your said it's all oh, yes. like a wheel in the middle of the wheel. Oh, yes. John talked about him oh, yes. in the book of the seven seals. Oh, yes. Some call him the road of Sharon. Oh, yes. Others call him the prince of peace. Oh, yes. oh,
that great name? His name is Yeah Precious One more time. His name is Jesus Oh Jesus Precious One more time His name is Come on say it like you know it Precious yeah, we have, we have the victory. Come on, if you really got it, you ought to praise God. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. See, we got to speak to our situation. If you believe that Jesus is a healer, put your situation in place and then say Jesus in the name of Jesus. So, so what I mean by that is my kids are healed in Jesus' name. My job is going to make a way for my family in Jesus' name. My health is good in Jesus' name. I'm in the right mind in Jesus' name. I'll walk through the valley and shadow of death. I shall fear no evil, for thou rod and thy staff is with me. See, see, Jesus is the way. See, Jesus is the only way. See, without Jesus, where would I be? Without Jesus, where would I be? If you believe that Jesus is the way maker, give him 30 seconds of praise, because Jesus has been too good to me. See, sometimes we have to just praise our way through. If you believe it, praise your way through. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, the enemy tries to kill, steal, and destroy. But he can't take my victory. The Bible says from victory. We come from victory. Rick, we are already victorious. Jesus has already paved the way. I got, a, I got a message for my young people before we, we have altar call. Matter of fact, let's get, let's get moving. For all my young people, please come to altar. I want to be obedient. I want to be obedient. Pastor preached last week about putting hands on the young people and how there's a, a blessing on the young people. And I understand this is a young service or youth Sunday, but I have a message for the young people. See, the enemy is trying to distract you. The enemy is trying to steal, kill, and destroy. And at this time, we may not know who our enemy is because there are so many devices. The Bible says there's something special. And when he created you, he said he knew you in, this, in your mother's womb. He said he knew you in your mother's womb. And then, and then when I got to thinking about that, I started realizing that, see, I wasn't there when God created me, so the blessing that he had for me, I didn't know. But you know who did know? The adversary knew what God put in you. So, so understanding that, understanding that, that if you don't have your strength, if you don't have a, if you're not standing firm on the Lord, then you don't know what the attack is of the enemy. So God told me to pray for covering on these youth. God said, God said, anoint the head. God said, pray for covering because the youth, the youth is the future. See, for us to keep this thing going, the youth has to know God. So I pray for healing. I pray for understanding. I pray for comfort. I pray for joy. I pray for love. I pray for all these things. See, I got a scripture. I got a scripture and I got to share this scripture. It said Matthew chapter 13, verse 24. It says, wheat, weeds among the wheat. Weeds among the wheat. It says, Jesus gave another parable, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like men who sowed good seed in his field. But while his men were asleep, his enemies came and sowed weeds, weeds among the wheat and went away. So when the plant plant sprouted and formed grain, the weeds appeared also. The servants of the owner came to him and said, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? Then how does it have weeds? in it he replied to them an enemy has done this the servant asked him then do we want us to go and pull them out do you want us to pull out the weeds he said 
He said, no, because as you pull out the weeds, you may uproot the wheat. Now, this is what I have for you. When God created you, he put a blessing. He sowed a seed. You weren't present when he sowed that seed. The Bible says in the darkness, the evil one came to put in wheat or weed. That weed is that, that device that's trying to stop you from getting your blessing. That weed is that device that's trying to stop you from getting a blessing. So what I mean by that is, when you understand that you're going through some trials and some tribulations, you go to your master. It didn't say he went to mom or he went to dad or he went to a friend or a cousin or an aunt. It said he went to the master. The master said, the master said, wait. The Bible says that those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings. They, they shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. What does that mean? That means that I have to wait. And while I'm waiting, God is putting something in you. That blessing that you didn't have sight. He's saying, I'm going to stir something up in your spirit. As you grow closer to me, it's going to come clear. The devil can't stop what he put in you. The devil can't stop what he put in you. So that blessing, that covering, that hedge of protection is there. And I want you to see it as clear as day. Whatever comes against you, God has already paved the way. So let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this glorious moment. We thank you for this time. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. Dear Heavenly Father, allow your anointing and your spirit to dwell with inside your children so bright that they feel you. Not only that they feel you, that they hear you clearly. That when they're walking in school and when they're walking to and from and when they're going in and out, that they know that you've already paved the way for them. So when the devil comes to kill, strill, and destroy, you come to give life and you said you come to give life more abundantly so allow them to hear you allow them to feel you allow them to know you allow them to want you allow them to walk with you allow them to understand that it's going to be okay allow your spirit to grow and burn so deep within their soul that it produce much fruit not only that it produce much fruit that they may be contagious to the people that they come in contact with so that when they're walking and they feel alone you give them a walking mate and then that walking mate continues to walk with them and then they build more walking mates so when we walk we understand that we are at war with the devil but we are victorious and that we are great in numbers and you said when there are two or three gathered in the midst you will be there with us so we thank you lord we glorify you we magnify you and we thank you for this precious moment as we rejoice together as we rejoice together, as we praise together, as we worship together, as we love together, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Come on. Come on, just give the Lord some praise. Oh, come on, take, receive your blessing this morning. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, just wait before the Lord this morning. I decree and I declare that you are already blessed. Come on, shout with me. Say, I'm already blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I feel a praise. Amen. Come on. I feel a praise. Come on, just for, just for two minutes. Just give him some praise right now. Just for two minutes. Come on. Let's give him some praise right now. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, thank you for your blessing. 
believe in being ob obedient to the spirit. I believe that your victory has been won. Amen. That your healing has been won. That whatever it is the enemy meant for evil, we cancel it this morning. And we turn it into good. Your shouting and your dancing is giving praise and glory and honor to the Lord. Amen. We are so grateful that you could be here this morning, that you could participate. It's offering time. Come on, it's offering time. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord loves a cheerful giver. In other words, those he have blessed with the tithes and the jobs and the businesses, with the good health, and I could go on and on. The Bible said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, 
shaking together and running over. So right now, we just want to thank the Lord for giving you the ability to have a job and to earn and to give back. And don't you know this morning as you give that your tithes and your offering is a weapon against the enemy. It's a weapon against the canker womb, the palmer womb, the caterpillar, the locust. In other words, anything that has been set on course to destroy what God has blessed you with, we cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Because who the Lord bless, no man curse. Bow your heads with me this morning. Father, we say thank you this morning for blessing us. For causing us to be here in your house to give you the praise and the glory and the honor. We say bless our tithes. We say bless our offering. And continue to open the windows of heaven and pour a blessing down. In Jesus' name we pray. You're in the hands of the deacons. Let's take in our announcements. Hey TWC, welcome guests. Here at TWC, we believe in learning the word, loving the word, and living the word. Here are your weekly announcements for the month of July. All children's ministry activities, including their Tuesday evening and Wednesday evening Bible study classes, are canceled for the month of July. We look forward to welcoming back our kids in August. As our kids are prepping to go back to school, we as a church family are going to make sure they're equipped to have a great school year. Starting July 16th through August 6th, we are having a school supply drive. Each week, we are asking you all to bring a different item to church to donate to our children in need. Week one, we are asking for folders, and week two is all about pencils. For week three, we're asking for notebooks and paper, and for week four, we're looking for backpacks. Here at WC, we believe that to invest into our children and youth is to invest into our future. So make sure you participate to make our kids' academic year bright. We look forward to sharing your donations with them. Today we are announcing our monetary donation initiative to Soul Dope Org. Founded by Pastor Ford's niece, Maya James, this organization is setting to change the world through connection and technology. Through travel missions abroad, locally, and nationwide, they bridge an opportunity gap by building computer labs in underprivileged schools. And Forever Word Church fam, Peter and Cara Johnson are currently in Spain doing a vacation Bible school mission teaching God's word and saving souls. Today, we partner with each mission to raise $500 each to help these great works. So make sure you donate today to Soul Dope via the Cash App name on the screen. Physically submit an offering or give online on our website to both, ensuring you mark Soul Dope or Spain Mission Initiative. Thanks for your support. Join Pastor Ford and the GWC family on a group trip for the reunion tour with Kirk Franklin, Ty Tribbett, the Clark sisters, David and Tamala Mann, and Israel Houghton, Sunday, November 12, 2023, at 7.30 p.m. at Arizona Financial Theater. Group transportation leaving from the church to and from the concert via a chartered bus can be provided for a cost of $45 per person if desired. Tickets to the concert can be purchased on your own. For more information, contact the church office and ask for event coordinators, Sister Brenda Thacker and Reverend Jacinto Wooten. Well, that's it for this week's news. Have a great rest of your week and enjoy service.
the first verse. With all my heart, all my soul, and all my mind. Just want to tell you how great you are. You are the star.
Praise God. How many ready for the word of God? Praise the Lord. Oh, come on. You drove all the way. How many? Yes. Hallelujah. All right. Let, we get excited about the word at the word, huh? Praise God. There is no Testimony. Anybody else's? I have tried to make it on my own. I tried it on my own. But
anybody else bump their head several times until you got it.
automatically want to sing hallelujah and I feel it too the enemy as Reverend Pierre has said is running rampant come on it's all kind of things going on and I know that it's been hard just for you to make I feel it it's been hard but God said if you would just open up your mouth and praise me you ain't gotta fight by yourself but if you would just stand still open your mouth and see the salvation of the Lord hallelujah then the enemy can say you ain't gonna make it but you can tell the enemy I feel like going on Come on, sing it if you've been struggling. We're going to sing it together. I feel. In spite of what it looks like. Those trials. Oh, trials come. On every. gonna be all right just right worship right now I sentence this is this is what cashes the check this is the pin code this is the password Jesus 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 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, let's say it again. Jesus, 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 Jesus. No matter what you're going through, this is what you say. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. No matter how it feels, this is what you tell the enemy. Jesus, Jesus. It's above me now. It's in the hands of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's call him what he is. Sing Savior, 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 Savior. Anybody been saved by the blood of the Lamb? Savior, Savior, Savior. You are my Savior, Savior, Savior. And his name is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, sing healer. As a matter of fact, he's been my healer. Healer, healer, healer. Your name is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on. This is what I love to say. Wonder. Wonder, wonder. Oh, wonder. sweet wonder. Yeah. Wonder, wonder. I don't know how he does it. He's a wonder in my soul. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Your name is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, your name. When tears running down, ugly cry, it's still Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The doctor's report ain't in your favor, but it's still Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Whose report will you believe it is? Jesus, Jesus. They laying off everybody else around you, but my God is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. They waiting on your next payment, but the Lord is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, let's go together. Thank you. Come on, praise him. You got your mics. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's his name? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody sing together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's his name? together we say Jesus 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 everybody say holy 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 he's holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty holy 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 here we call him Jesus 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 come on one more time sing holy 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 we need your holy One more, sing faithful, 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 faithful. Great is thy faithfulness. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Oh, every morning, new mercies. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Your name is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Well, come on, church. Let's give God praise. Just play in, just play, play, play. Come on, man. Would you worship in your own way? Let's worship, man.
insert whatever words you want to insert whatever word the Holy Spirit gives you it might be thank you it might be healer it might deliver be deliverer let's just take an extra minute band and what would you shout hallelujah. hallelujah if you enjoy praising the Lord that way would you just give God praise for it would you give those who serve in our church by way of music ministry a hand of encouragement would you do that we thank God for praise same for the choir who's on fire for the praise team who's always the A team for the band that is always blessed. For ushers who serve in silence with symbols and signs and signals to the associate ministers who do what they do with mercy. Jude, this is really an imitation. Winnie, thank you for doing that. She kept trying to leave. I kept walking up. <laughs> I appreciate that. Angie, thank you for your leadership. Praise team. Thank you, ladies, for singing. This is, there are moments in church where we need to follow the Lord unusually. Where we need to move supernaturally. That's not to say we don't move supernaturally all the time, Reverend Wooten. But there are times, Reverend Jacinta, Reverend Willie Wooten, where the Lord just takes what? I'm going to close with that. I'm going to close with have thine own way. Close with that. Just get ready for it. The book of Jude, this is an invitation. I want you to hear it. This is not a sermon per se. It's the last book before the book of the Revelation. The book of the Revelation is the book of revealing. 
The word revelation comes from the word apocalypsis or apocalypso. And here's what it means. It means the pulling open of a curtain. That's the word picture of the, of the word revelation. What God does, church, this is where you can rest today. Reverend Williams, thank you, man. I love you like a food. Man, I love you. Thank you. Here's what he does, Reverend Williams. He shows us the end, and we're still at the beginning. We have nothing to worry about, Reverend Pierre Singfield, at all. He unveils it, the Apostle John on the Isle of Patmos. He says, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. People say it was Sunday. Uh, don't be lost in that. Because every day is the. He's on an island called Patmos or Patimo or Palmosa depending on how you enunciate it, where you're from. He's in jail for serving Jesus. He says, I'm, I'm, I'm in the spirit, Sherman. I said, where you at? He said, I'm in the spirit on the Lord's day. Where you at? I'm in jail. Yeah, joy in jail, yeah. And the Bible says that God talks to him and gives him a revealing of what's coming to pass. Anybody here been worried about life lately? Can't turn the news on, Willie, and not hear something that's bananas. I mean, it's racial, it's spatial. <laughs> and by spatial, I mean space. It's intentional, it's unintentional. I'm a he, I'm a she, I'm a they, I'm a them, I'm a noun, I'm a pronoun. There's stuff going on all the time, everywhere. And John says, Sherman, yeah, on the Lord's Day. I'm in the spirit, and he showed me some things. God gives us a word for the seven churches in Asia Minor. You ever want to know anything about what kind of churches we have around today? They're all depicted and described and put on detail and on public display in the book of Revelation. Chapter 1, Revelation of Jesus Christ. Chapters 2 and 3, we have the seven letters to the seven churches. Chapter 4, we have what we call the rapture. Is what it says. John says, I saw a door open in heaven. And then I was caught up. He was taken up bodily into heaven and he saw the future. So when John writes in the Revelation and he talks about these animals, these beasts with different eyes and out of their mouths flow fire. If you're John living in that day, you may not have any idea what an airplane is or what a bomb ship is or what. He has to use his language to describe what he's seeing. Scripture tells us this, that the end of the world is coming. And John predicts, God predicts through John, the rapture, the snatching away. The, the harpazo is the word, H-A-R-P-A-D-Z-O. It is to be, I don't know whose mask this is. I hope you ain't got the cooties. It is to be snatched away. Because after chapter 3, we no longer see the church because the church is caught up to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. What are you worried about? Because one glad morning, <laughs> when this life is over, the book that precedes Revelation is the book of Jude, J-U-D-E. Verse 24, you can't say chapter, Jude only has <laughs> 25 verses. It's a sticky note. It's a notepad, <laughs> not even pad, just a note. And here's what he says, to him who is able, now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before his glory, <laughs> without fault, seeding great joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory. Come on now, majesty, come on now. Dominion, come on now, power. And watch what he says here. Through Jesus Christ 
And watch the application, Reverend Williams, who is our Lord for all ages now and forevermore. It, this, is, this is so the invitation. Sometimes God preaches his own sermon in his own service <laughs> because he's the Savior and he's sovereign. Sovereign, S-O-V, means supreme. R-E-I-G-N means reign. Whenever we call God sovereign, we're saying he reigns supreme. Now unto him. He closes the sticky note. Hear this now. Jude is Jesus' half-biological brother. He has another brother, uh, James. James is in here too. He has a book. I want you all to catch this. James and Jude don't get saved until after the resurrection. Pastor Ray Jones, I know I saw him in the lobby. Thank you for coming today. Ray, thank you, Doc. They don't get saved, Ray, until after the resurrection. Sometimes you can be so close to Jesus, so brotherly, <laughs> so common, that you miss who he is. I know there's not a normal, I'm not trying to preach today. You can come to church so much, you just, you miss the moment. And I'm trying to learn how to live in the moment because the safest place in the, is in the will of God. James and Judah, they get saved after the resurrection. They say, our brother came to Jesus. Say, what you talking about? We heard it all our lives. Jesus, you ain't nothing. I don't know what they're saying about you. How do we treat one another? Jew, James and Judas, they plant churches. They get saved. They're radically saved. But it's post-resurrection. I want to give you the invitation. Be saved today. Online friend. Online friend. Online friend. Be saved today. Now, on to watch how you hope he closes his sticky note. He, he's writing to believers who are adversarial. And he, he's writing to them, he gives them those sticky notes, and then he closes it like this. He said, let me put a pen in this room and put a period. No, he's put an exclamation mark. <clears throat> he clears his throat, now unto him. You're not shouting yet because the him is his brother. And sometimes the one we cannot, will not give any time or attention or authority, our power to, are the ones that are closest to us. Now unto him, watch this word, who was able. Now, when he says unto him who is able, the word is duna my e. Everybody say duna my e. The word duna my e is close to the word duna must. It's close to the word didache. It's close to the word didasco. It's close to the word energia, Pastor Jones. All of those are words in the Greek New Testament for what? Power. He says, now unto him. Listen at the brother testify about his brother, know his Savior, know his Lord, know his leader, know his God. Now unto him, hold it and him alone. <laughs> be all, all dunamis. Could it be that we think we have some dunamis, our dunamis, our didache, our didasco, our, our energia, our exousia? He has dunamis. I know why you're not shouting. Uh, you're not shouting because you don't know that the word dunamis is where we get our English word dynamite and dynamo and dynamic. So whenever you need some dirt or dross pushed out of your life, he comes in like a dynamo. And whenever you need something blown up, he comes in like, and he rearranged, has God ever rearranged your life? Has he ever blown it up? Oof. Now unto him who was able, dunamis, dunamite, to keep you from, here's the word, watch the passage, to keep you from falling. You may have the word stumbling, but before we get to the word stumbling and falling, we get to the word, watch this, keep. Here's the word, everybody speak in tongue one more time. Everybody say, who? Lasso. Say it again. Say philosophy. God is able to keep me. Who here has ever been in a place where you couldn't keep your? 
I'm walking and talking with my mind what? He's able to keep you. He's talking to believers who are being persecuted, and he's telling them, don't you worry about it. God's a keeper. He can lock you up and lock you down and lock you in. It can't nobody do anything to you until he says so. And by the way, when you exit this earthly tabernacle tent, you have another uh, habitation not made with hands, eternal in the heaven. We don't want to hear this. I just talked to uh, one of our deaconess on the side room and heard about another transition. But the good news about our future habitation, our future body, is that it doesn't get sick, it doesn't wear down, it doesn't get a cold, there's no swelling, there's no heartache, there's no headache, there's no toe ache, there's none of that. He's able to keep me, watch this now, from falling. I'm done. The word falling, I preach this short, I don't know how long, is from a word that always pulls me in, scandalon. Yeah, you know what that is in English. Scandalous. I hear him talking to me, Anthony. I'm not going to sing his song, but I'm going to call his lyric. He has a first name, starts with a P, middle name starts with an R, and last name starts with an N. Prince Rogers Nelson. He said, Scandalous. So, what are you talking about, Prince? I'm talking about you and me. That's what he said. <laughs> Marvelous. That's the God side. Can't you see? I know some of y'all can't handle the fact that when you get saved and when you hear with a different ear <laughs> and see with a different eye, you can see Jesus in a whole lot of places. The word is scandalon. Keep you, Sherman, from falling. Now, I'm here by myself. I'm the only one at the altar. Because I'm the only one, come here, Donna McClurkin, who's fallen down. And gotten up because St. Angie is just a, yeah, there's a principle there. He's not quoting a passage. It is a principle that saints are also sinners who fall down and by the help of the dunamis, we can get back up again. Him, able, keep, falling, scandalon. I'm done with this. One of my favorite shows years ago. Y'all don't know her. Y'all don't know her. You don't, you don't know the show. It's a series on TV. It almost made me change Bible study one night, one weekend. It's called Scandal. I'm trying to bring you into Scandal. There's a woman who was the star of the show. The character's name was Olivia Pope. And I always thought it was interesting her last name was. Olivia Olive. I'm going to leave it alone. But my mind and Ray's mind and William's mind, we think in terms of scripture whenever we hear anything. I think about an olive being crushed. I think about a pope and that office. She leads a law firm. She's the head of the law firm, and they only take the most egregious, I'm talking about you and me, cases. One night I was watching this thing, it was late at night. I said, oh my God. It opens up with the preacher. Opening scene. Pastor. Mega church. This is D.C., context nationally. And he's in a hotel room, and he dies. He's not alone, but he's in a room, and he dies. Everybody okay? He's not alone. He's not with his betrothed. He's a pastor. Her name is Olivia Olive Crush. Last name Pope position. And they call Olivia because they want to clean it up. She comes, she walks in the room, she sees what's up. Don't worry about it, I got it. 
And I'm sitting there watching this preacher, pastor, prophet, priest, poimen, P-O-I-M-E-N, under shepherd. I'm going, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, are they doing in Hollywood, which is highly weird. I'm letting you inside of my head. How is Olivia going to fix this? Because she's a what? Fixer. Her whole law firm, she calls them another name, and they work that thing out. Before it's over, I won't walk you through every frame, nor am I encouraging you to go watch it, but it's one that gripped me. By the end scene, there was a funeral. The church is packed. You can't get in there with shoehorn and grease. The pastor's wife is sitting there with her hat on. The family is grieving. A few pews behind her. Did I say he was not in the room? Alone. She's in there too. I'm like, how did Olivia work that out? Everybody is cool. The press never gets the word. Uh, this is what happened to Pastor Bishop Elder. You think I'm talking about me. I, uh, I'll talk about us. Everybody comes together. There's an exchange between two women, and it goes off. And I said, Lord, I mean, Sherman, yeah, I, I can reconcile with you. What? Scandalon. What? Keep us from falling. Hold it. And then to some of us are going to cut me off because you can't handle a secular illustration with a spiritual application. And then to present you faultless. It, it may be, there are other applications. This is one that comes to my mind right now, my illustration. They're in that funeral. One or two or three of them are the wiser. The wife knows what's up. The other woman knows what's up. Olivia <laughs> knows what's up. And she just, I told you I got it. She walks out head up, and you know she was dressed every episode. It was like she had on a new, whatever it was, custom made, Lily Air shoes. Um, she's bad. She walks out with her bag, with her purse, that little wink. Her hair is always perfectly coiffed. And I said, look at her. The little heels on, walking out of the funeral. God bless you, everybody. Peace. Nobody knows. She did what she did. Hold it. Sacrifice what she sacrificed, hold it. Gave up what she gave up, hold it. To help other people get their lives, thank you, Lord, <laughs> in order. I'm really not talking to you about Olivia Pope. I'm really not talking to you about the show Scandal. Now unto who is able to keep, that is, store me in a safe place as ice does ice cream in the freezer from unthawing. Oops, I mean from falling. Oops, I mean from scandal. Scandal on word. So he can present me, Reverend Anthony, thank you. How faultless. Before him. I issue the invitation one more time, and I'm literally done. I'm ready for the song. I'm literally done. I'm literally, literally, literally done. Is there anyone here who wants to say scandal is handled? Who wants to say, Lord, I submit myself to you, and here's the prayer of this hymn. It's a really old hymn. I, 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 I don't know if we know this hymn anymore, but we need to go back to learning the hymns. Because there is theology in a hymn. Torah, I hear you. There is theology in hymns. And, and the words say, have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will. While I am waiting, watch the lyric, yield it and steal. Brighter than snowflake, wash me. If I go to the other verses, y'all really get lost just now. 
Everybody stand again. There's an invitation. If you want to join Pastor Court down at the front, I want you to come now. Everybody have thine own way. Have thine own way, Lord. Pastor, I need the Lord. Have thine own way. In whatever way I need him. Kev, can you put the words up for me? I, I am. am the clay. Come on now. Mold me and make me. I want to join church. I want to join Jesus. After, after thy will. I want to join the body of Christ. I am Pastor, I'm already saved, but I need to yield to God. Yielded. More than I already have. And and I believe that he has called me to do that. Come on, let's give God praise. I'm talking to saved people. I'm talking to born again people. Online friend, online friend. Yeah. Search me and try me. Is it master today? Master today. Everybody just sing, have thine own way together. Come on, man. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Have thine own way. Will there be another, Pastor? I need the Lord. Thou art the I'm already saved. I'm just coming. Because I want to publicly acknowledge that I want to humble myself before God. Yeah. Mold me and make me. After thy will. Yielded and still. Yielded and still. Heads about, eyes are closed. Father, in the name of Jesus. God, we just come and ask you to have your own way. We, we recognize that you are the potter. Your hands that shape us. And God, I ask now as sinners saved by your grace as pastor of this local assembly of believers would you take me and would you take us as clay in your hands and shape us into whatever it is you want us to be you designed us to be Lord we know that we all are uniquely designed by you you made some of us to be hands and some to be feet and some to be ears some to be eyes but would you just have your way? We submit to no longer trying to fight you and your design and your desire and your plan for our lives. They're only our lives, God, by stewardship, but we give ourselves to you by ownership. Make me what you want me to be. Thank you for this time together. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. That the men and women watching online, that those who have come forward to join me, the first at the altar, that, Father, you would do it again. We need a fresh touch from you. So, Father, as we stand together, we pray for the person who's to our right and to our left. Even if we're not touching them, Father, we pray that, God, you would touch their lives, whatever their need is. So we silently pray, not only to my right and to my left, but to my rear and to those in front of me. Let prayers go up to you right now. Heal right now, God. Heal the cancer right now. Heal the migraine right now. Reconnect the ligament right now. Clear up the blood vessel in the heart right now. Bring the blood sugar down right now. Raise all the electrolytes up right now. Take out the anger right now. Remove the hurt right now. Remove the pain 
right now. Remove the unforgiveness right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Would you join me? Let's give God praise. Amen. Bless you. Remain standing. I'm going to do the benediction to those who came forward. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Would you go to this room right here to my left and Reverend Willie Wooten and Reverend Jacinta Wooten and Reverend Anthony Campbell and Reverend Lorraine Campbell. They're going to connect with you. If I say connect without a T, they're going to connect. They're going to connect with you. I know a church is unusual. I know what time is it? 1220. Everybody all right? Leave here today and tell someone about Jesus Christ. You can do it in word. You can do it in deed. You can do it in behavior. Because our best witness is when we don't speak. It's how we L-I-V to the quadruple E. It's how we live. I'm praying for Reverend Pierre Singfield to my left and for your family, P. Praying for everyone in here who's experienced loss. Barbara Hillman and family. Robin, you still here? Where you at? Gail, still here? Her family? We're praying for all of you who said, when you pray, pray for me. And I want you to know that you're prayed for daily. When we hear it, when pastor receives it, I'm a good guy to pause and pray. I, I'll stop my car, pull it over and pray. And so we're going to pray for you. We're praying with you. I want to thank God for my friend and my brother. Ray, this is not church for us. It's normal, you know, man. One, one of Sundays, man. Pastor Ray uh, Jones, the senior pastor of the Union Institutional Baptist Church in Phoenix, is on vacation. And I want to acknowledge him. He decided just to pop in on me. I didn't even see him to the lobby. And, uh, man, thanks for coming, man. Love you, man. You look sharp, too. He allowed me to preach for him just a couple weeks ago at, at the church where he serves. As he's on sabbatical and vacation. He's leading by example. And I got many years on him in preaching and, pa and, and pastoring. And I'm trying to get to where he's at. And so I appreciate that balance, man. And then my friend, Pastor Williams, thank you. Okay, here's our benediction. Would you do me a favor before you go? Before you go out, would you just walk up to the people who do music ministry for us? Would you just wave at them or tell them God bless you or touch the praise team on the shoulder? Now, you don't want to touch too many of them, too many. They, some of them married. Some of them who are not married, they have friends. But just tell them thank you for their service. And would, you, would you wave at the band and just tell them thank you? Yeah. Yeah, listen, we love you guys, man. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Darius. Thank you. Thank you, Greg Sr. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Robert Nettles. You guys are awesome. Uh, Ed is reminding me right now. Some of you see this band on my hand. It says Rise right there. You see that? We're encouraging you to get a band. It helps to support us paying off our church debt. I'm done. I hope to see you next Sunday. Remember, this week there is no Bible study, not on Tuesday night, not on Wednesday. And uh, we'll be back next Sunday. Everybody okay? Okay. Thank you all. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his counsel upon you. May the Lord give you peace. Turn the blessing toward me. Say, Pastor Ford, the Lord give you peace. Give your neighbor a hug and a kiss. God bless you. You're dismissed.